All right, so lesson 46 is decimal numbers in expanded notation and mentally multiplying by 10 and 100. So I have the problem, write 5.06 in expanded notation. So first, the 5 is in the 1's place. So to write that in expanded, it's going to be 5 times 1. And then we add the next section. So my next one is the 6 is in the hundredths place. So we're going to do six times one hundredth. Okay. Now if you notice there's no there's nothing in the tens place so I don't need to put anything there. And that is how you write it in expanded notation. Here we have this decimal this expanded notation and I want to write it as a decimal number. So we have four times one-tenth. So that means I'm going to start out in, after the decimal place. So remember, our decimal places go tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So it's four times one-tenth, so that will be four in the tenths place. Now my next one, I don't have any hundredths, so that means I need to put a zero placeholder in for my hundredths, because the next number is in the thousandths. 5 times 1,000 means that I put my 5 in the thousandths place. And that is the correct answer. All right, so now we're going to worry about multiplying decimal numbers by 10 and 100. So the trick for this is when we multiply by 10 and 100, all we have to do is move the decimal place one place to the right. Because when I multiply, my number is going to get bigger. So here's my decimal place, and I'm going to move it one place to the right, to here. Okay, so when I multiply 3.75 by 10, I move it one place to the right, and I get 37.5 as my answer. The trick to know how many times you move it is you look at how many zeros you have. So in this case, I have 10. So I have one zero, so I move my decimal place one place to the right. In this one, I have 100, and 100 has two zeros. So that means I need to move my decimal place two places to the right. So we're going to move it one, two. So my answer is 375. Okay. So on this problem, we have a multiplication and division problem combined. So to make this problem easier, I'm going to multiply it by 10 over 10. And 10 over 10 is equal to 1, so it won't change my numbers or my answer. So let's multiply it first. 1.2 times 10, we move that decimal place one place to the right. So I get 12 over... 0.4 times 10, I move it one decimal place to the right. 12 divided by 4. And 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. And that's it for your homework. Good luck.